Welcome back to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. And in today's episode, we're going to be predicting the Miami Dolphins 2021 schedule. We're going to be going through every opponent, giving you my prediction on who's going to win each game. And so let's get into it. So real quick, before I do get into it, I just want to say, you know, if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and go check out that Patreon for some exclusive content. So let's get into this, into these predictions, shall we? Week one against the New England Patriots in New England always seems that the Dolphins are and the Patriots are playing week one. Um, but I'm going to be taking the New England Patriots in this matchup. You know, the Dolphins are going to be going up to New England um, with that new team. You know, I New, new England's going to have that, um, that, that revamped offense, revamped defense. And I think, you know, I think that, you know, both teams are going to have some adjusting to do. But I think this defense is going to be enough with or without Stefan Gilmore to hold Tua and his new weapons, you know, getting used to his weapons and such week one. So I'm starting on one. Week two at home doesn't get any easier to play the Buffalo Bills. And if Josh Allen continues to play the way he is, I'm going to take Josh Allen over Tua and eventually the Miami Dolphins. You know, Dolphins have a good defense. But, you know, I'm going, I'm, I forgot to mention, I'm going off of this by assuming that Xavier Howard is not going to play. So week two, I'm having the Buffalo Bills beating the Miami Dolphins. Week three, at the Las Vegas Raiders, I'm going to have Miami Dolphins coming out with the win versus the Raiders. I think that defense is going to pick off Derek Carr a few times. I think Tua is going to catch some fire with his weapons. And I think the uh, and I think the Dolphins will beat the Raiders. Week four at home versus the Indianapolis Colts. You know, I think this is I think this is a game for the Dolphins. I think the Dolphins will beat the Colts in week four. Um nonetheless, you know, Colts are a really good team, but you know, Carson Wentz is still adjusting to his to his receivers, to his system. So I'm gonna take the Dolphins in week four against the Colts. Week five. At Tampa Bay, playing the Buccaneers, you know, this is going to be a really tough matchup, and I'm going to take the Buccaneers in this matchup. Yeah, the Bucs are a really good team, man. Um, they're really well-balanced, and, and I think the Dolphins are going to struggle. Um, don't get me wrong, I think this Dolphins team is a really good defensive and offensive team, but I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins. No, I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the Miami Dolphins. Week 6, at in London versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, um, this is going to be a really fun game to watch. You know, Tua, Trevor Lawrence, that defense versus Trevor Lawrence, um, which cannot can honestly be the factor, but, you know, the Jaguars always play really good in London. So I'm, so I'm going to factor that in there a little bit. You know, I'm going to take the Jaguars in week six over the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, I think I think this is one of those games where Trevor Lawrence may struggle a little bit, but he's also going to, you know, make some big plays and he's going to make enough plays to beat the Miami Dolphins. Week seven. Um, at home versus the Atlanta Falcons, I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins over the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons are a really good team, man. Um, you know, they have a, they have a really good offense. Um, they have a decent defense, but I think this Miami team is a bit better than the Atlanta Falcons. I think the, I think this Miami team will be able to, you know, stop to maybe not stop, but slow down, definitely slow down this Atlanta offense. Um, you know, this Atlanta offense is actually, you know, not as good as I actually initially was thinking. Uh, they did lose Julio, and they don't really have much behind Julio. Um, I mean, they do have Kyle Pitts, though, which I actually think that was their plan all along, but that's a, another attack for another video. But, uh, yeah, I have the Dolphins coming out in Week 7. I think that defense is going to be too much for Matt Ryan and Calvin Ridley. Otherwise, there's really not too much on that offense. Or, no, Kyle Pitts, yeah, but he hasn't played a snap yet, so we don't know. Week 8. At Buffalo, um, you know, this this is going to be a tough game. You know, I think I'm actually going to have the Dolphins split with the Bills. Yeah, the Bills are a really good team, but this is a division game. And the Dolphins are going to play really hard. They're going to want that win. And two of these receivers are going to, you know, know each other by now. This, you know, two is going to be better with the system by now. I think that two and the Dolphins beat the Bills in Buffalo. So, you know, kind of, you know, one of those weird splits where, the teams win it in each other's home, basically. Week 9, Houston Texans. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. I'm, I'm going to take the Dolphins versus the Texans. Week 10, um, the Baltimore Ravens. Ah, th this is going to be a fun game. Two really good defenses. Um, two, quarter two very talented quarterbacks. Um, mm, I think I'm leaning towards the Ravens because I think Lamar is a little more further in his development. I think Lamar, you know, 
um, is a really good quarterback at this point. He's a really good runner. Um, he's improving as a passer still. I think the Ravens have don't maybe have as good receivers, but I think the Ravens will be able to run this team. I think they'll be able to keep Tua in the Dolphins' offense off the field. Um, but I don't know if Tua will be able to score in this Ravens defense. I don't know how these weapons will do versus the Ravens defense. So I'm going to take the Ravens in Miami week 10. Week 11, they are at the New York Jets. Um, this is going to be a fun game as well. But I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins in this game. You know, Zach Wilson, rookie quarterback, I think he's going to struggle a little bit in his first year, as every rookie does, as every player does struggle in it. At some point during the year, most players do. Um, but yeah, I think this is, I'm more so trying to say that, that this is going to be a game where Zach Wilson is really going to meet this Miami Dolphins defense. And, you know, he's going to have a rough day. And, you know, the running backs don't really scare me too much. I do really like Michael Carter, but, you know, he, he needs some help with that offense line. Um, you know, I do like their weapons, but, you know, ultimately I have that Dolphins defense limiting that offense. I have to uh, doing just enough to beat the New York Jets week 11 in New York. Week 12 at home versus the Carolina Panthers. This is going to be a fun game as well, man. You know, the Carolina Panthers have a, you know, the, the Panthers are a weird team. You know, that, you know, that defense has a lot of potential. They're very young. Um, I really like Brian Burns. Um, then you look at the offense, you know, they have a lot of good weapons on offense, but I think the Dolphins will be able to limit those. I think the Dolphins will be able to stop Sam Darnold. Um, I'm going to take the Dolphins at home versus the Carolina Panthers. Week 13 at home again against the New York Giants. So this is going to be a really good game as well, man. Two really good defenses. Two quarterbacks are out to prove themselves. And, you know, who am I going to take? Which quarterback am I going to take? Um, I don't know, man. I might. I think, I think I'd take two over Daniel Jones. Um, you know, Daniel Jones has all those weapons too. You know, this is a really, really similar game. Similar, you know, teams, I mean. But the difference is going to be Saquon Barkley. If Saquon Barkley is healthy, healthy, he's going to be able to run this, on this Dolphins defense, and I'm going to take the New York Giants against the Dolphins in the Dolphins' home. Week 14 is their bye week. Pretty late bye week. That's nice. Week 15, they're at home versus the New York Jets. I'm going to, you know, uh, I, you know I don't know if I'm going to have the Dolphins sweeping them, but I think it's the right thing. I think something is telling me that the Dolphins are going to sweep the Jets. Um, you know, the Jets are a team that, you know, there's they're they're gonna struggle. They're gonna struggle with, you know, very new team. But by week fifteen, they shouldn't be struggling too much. They should be clicking a little bit, but I don't think this Jets team is ready yet next year. So I still think this Dolphins team comes out with the win. I think they sweep the New York Jets. Week sixteen in New Orleans against New or the New Orleans Saints. Um this is gonna be a good game as well, but I'm gonna take the Dolphins in this one. I think they get a few interceptions on Jameis Winston. I think Tua throws a few touchdowns. I think this I think this Dolphins team will soundly beat the New Orleans Saints. Don't get me wrong, though. The Saints are really talented. I, I, I just think this is a really good matchup for the Dolphins. Week 17, Tennessee Titans. Um, I'm going to take the Titans in this one because um, the Dolphins' run game or the run defense is still not the greatest. J Jalen Phillips will help with that, but that run defense is still a little, you know, on the fence. I, I'm not a huge fan of it, but, yeah, I, I think Derrick Henry is going to be able to round them very soundly. I think Rantano is going to be able to throw decently well against his former team because they're going to be stacking the box against Derrick Henry. They're going to be throwing to Julio Jones, A.J. Brown, Josh Reynolds, um, whoever is out there on the field, so... And that Titans, you know, that Titans defense doesn't really scare you, but nonetheless, you know, it depends on the, on how that Miami Dolphins offense is doing. If the offense is clicking, they they have an honest chance, but it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult for sure. Week 18, they're at home versus the New England Patriots. Um, You know, I'm going to have the Dolphins taking this one. Um, Yeah, both really good teams probably going to be fighting for a playoff spot at this point. Um. Uh, but I'm gonna take the Dolphins. I think Tua clicks with his. I think Tua's clicking with his receivers by now. I think that they get their running backs going a little bit. Um, I think this offense line will be able to hold up. I think this defense will be able to hold the Patriots offense, since they'll know a little more about them. They'll know about Mac Jones, Cam Newton a little more than more. They'll know all about the Patriots by now.
So I think the Dolphins win this one. So that's all I got for you guys for this for today's video, for today's record predictions. So I thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show. And if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.